In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to write code to convert whole numbers or integers to strings before displaying them as output. I'm first going to show you what the program must do again. I will tell you when you can also start typing code in your project. Let me quickly show you what the program must do next. First, I'm going to fill all the edits with information and I'm going to change the age field. When I'm done, we can look at the changes. Now, let's look at some of the values I typed. I entered values for all my edits. I also changed the age in the spin edit from 20 to 26. I will click on the display button now to show you our new output. This is the new output in the reach edit. These three lines were added to the lines property of the reach edit. This line reads the value from the age field and converts it to a string to be displayed in the reach edit. This line also reads the value from the age field. Then we add 5 years to the age and convert it to a string to be displayed in the reach edit. And this line also reads the value from the age field. And we multiply it by 12 months to get the age in months. Then we convert that result to a string to be displayed in the reach edit. In all three cases our results are converted to strings because they are integers. An integer is a whole number. Numbers are not compatible with strings. So they cannot be concatenated with other string values. Or they cannot be displayed in a string property like the lines property of the reach edit. We must first convert the numbers to make them compatible for concatenation and display. Ok, you can now also write the code with me. Open your contact information project in Delphi and type exactly what I'm typing. My application is back in design time and it should be the same as yours now. To display those three last lines like I demonstrated, we must add statements for the on-click event of the display button. Double click the display button. Delphi takes you to the event handler called btn display click that we programmed in previous tutorials. Like before, we are still going to keep all these statements. We will just append the new statements in this event handler. Let's first add the statement to add this line to the reach edit. We must read the value in the spin edit, convert the number to a string, concatenate the result with the rest of the sentence and then add it to the reach edit. Let's start on a new line. Type redoutput.lines.add Type two inverted commas between the brackets. Move your cursor between the inverted commas and type h followed by a colon and a space. After the last inverted comma type a space followed by a plus and another space. Type SEDH followed by a dot. Type VA. I'm going to pause here for a while. Delphi presents this list that displays the value property of the spin edit. Here and here we see that the value property is an integer. Now press the enter key to autocomplete the name of the property. Type a semicolon after the closing bracket to end the statement. This statement is now supposed to read the value property from the age pin edit. Then concatenate it with the rest of the string and then add it to the lines property of the reach edit. Let's see if that is the case. Run your program. No, Delphi displays an error. Click the OK button. The line that causes the error is highlighted in red. And here in the messages we see the reason for this error. The message reads incompatible types, string and integer. Like I mentioned before, an integer is a whole number. I also mentioned that you cannot concatenate or display a number or an integer as a string. They are not compatible with each other. We first need to convert the number to become a string before we can concatenate it with another string in order to display it. You must use Delphi's IntoString function to do the conversion. Place your cursor here after the plus sign and make a space. Type INT. Press your control and space keys together. In this list that Delphi pops up, we see that into string is a function. It takes an integer as input and it returns an integer as output. Press your enter key to autocomplete the name. Directly after the name, type an opening bracket. Here we also see a cue that the function requires an integer as an argument for the input parameter. The value property of the age spin edit is an integer. So this whole part here must be the input parameter for the function. 
remove the space after the opening bracket and then move your cursor after the value property and type a closing bracket. Let's see if it works now. Run your application. Type values in all your edits and also change the age to 26. When you are done, click the display button. The new output in the rich edit looks like this now. This line was added. We read the age from the spin edit, converted it to a string with the into string function, concatenated the results with the rest of the string and added the whole string to the lines of the rich edit. Click the close button to return to design time. Make a new line in the event handler. We want to add 5 years to the age and display the result like this. On the new line type redoutput.lines.add. Between the two brackets type age after 5 years, followed by a colon and a space. After the last inverted comma type a space, followed by a plus and another space. Now we must read the value in the age pin edit again and add 5 years to it. The result will also be an integer, so we can immediately start with the into string function. Type into str followed by brackets. Between the brackets type sedh dot value plus 5. Close the add method with a closing bracket and end the statement with a semicolon. The plus sign here is not a concatenation operator. When we plus numbers, Delphi knows to use the plus sign as an addition operator. And when we plus string values like we do here, Delphi sees it as a concatenation operator. This statement takes the number 5 and adds it to the value property of the age spin edit. The result of the addition is then converted to a string and then concatenated to the rest of the sentence. And the whole string is then added to the lines property of the reach edit. Go to a new line. Next, we want to calculate the age in months. So we must multiply the value in the age spin edit by 12 months and display the result like this. In the new line type redoutput.lines.add. Between the two brackets type approximate age in months, followed by a colon and a space. The age is not absolute. It depends on the month you are born in. That's why we say approximate age in months. After the last inverted comma, type a space, followed by a plus and another space. Now we must read the value in the age span edit again and multiply it by 12. The result will also be an integer, so we can immediately start with the into string function. Type into str, followed by brackets. Between the brackets type sedh.value, type an asterisk and type 12. Be careful here, when doing multiplication we use an asterisk, not an x. Close the add method with a closing bracket and end the statement with a semicolon. This statement takes the number 12 and multiplies it by the value property of the age pin edit. The result of the multiplication is then converted to a string and then concatenated to the rest of the sentence. And the whole string is then added to the lines property of the reach edit. Now run the project again to test the results. Fill all your edits with values. You can also change the age if you want. I'm changing mine to 26 again. When you are done, click the display button. Let's look at the output. We already saw this line when we ran the program a few moments ago. For this line to display, we added 5 years to the current age, converted the results to a string, concatenated with the rest of the sentence and added it to the lines property of the rich edit. And for the last line here, we multiplied the age by 12 months, converted the results to a string, concatenated with the rest of the sentence and also added it to the lines property of the rich edit. Click the close button. If you didn't get the correct results, redo the exercise and make sure you do it exactly as I'm doing it. We will continue with this application in the next video, so click the save all button. In the next video I will demonstrate how you must convert real numbers. We will also do that in the contact information project. I'll talk to you again in the next video.